Hey guys, it's Tori. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be making a DIY gift box for my best friend. And if you like this DIY, you should definitely try this at home. Before we get into this video, make sure to give this a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's get into it. So the very, very first step to this process was to go to Michael's and get all of the supplies, which you will see in just a few clips. I tried to spend under $20 and I don't know, we'll see if I could do that or not. But yeah, roll the clips. <laughs> It's been a day and we ended up going to Michael's yesterday. Um, I spent $22, but I did buy an item for a future DIY. So all of the supplies you can get at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or whatever craft store you want to go to for under $20. Um, yeah, I'm going to give you a little bit of a haul and tell you what everything costs. Also, if you hear all those noises, it's because we're working on our house right now. So I'm going to try to talk only when the noises aren't going on. So. The first thing you're going to need for this DIY is a box. This little box I got came with another one inside of it, so you're not going to need two. Mine just came with two. This is about the size that I wanted, but you can choose whatever size you want. This was originally $7.49, but I got it for $5.99, so I think that was really cool. This is wood so that I can paint it and glue things on it and all that stuff. It just has one of these little opener things. And it's just, it looks like that inside. So, yeah. The next thing you're going to need for this DIY is paints. I chose two colors. This is a muted aqua and a coral pink. This is from Craftsmart. So these were originally 79 cents and I got them for 63. So these are really cool, really inexpensive. Even without a discount, they're really cheap and then I also needed some string so I found this like assortment of string or like ribbon this is they're all pink and white I thought that they went well with this coral color and this was originally $4.99 but I got it on sale for I got this for $1.97 um, but you can choose just a certain string I think I'm going to be using this like rope that goes from uh, pink to white then what you're also going to need is some little clothespins. I think these are so cute. And um, these were, I don't even remember. These were supposed to be $1.99, but I got them for $1.59. Pretty inexpensive. I couldn't pass these up. These are not uh, mandatory, but I got some little gems to decorate it. Basically, the idea of this is just to kind of make it look like really scrapbooky and artsy. So you can cover it in whatever you want like flowers and stickers and gems, and sparkles, whatever really. Um, so I chose these pretty gems because I want to make it look kind of girly and elegant, I guess. These were supposed to be $1.99 and I got them for $1.60. Last thing I got for this DIY is some stickers. I chose some flower stickers. It's kind of hard to see if it will focus on them. But yeah, they're just kind of colorful flower stickers. I thought these went well with my color choice. These were... Um, one ninety nine. I got them for one fifty nine, but yeah, I think that's a little expensive for stickers. I don't know. Again, these are whatever you want to do with them. I chose flowers, but you can do literally whatever stickers you want. So I got some inspiration off of Pinterest, and if you want to see some photos, I will um, insert some inspiration photos here. Also. For this DIY, it's a friendship DIY. My dad had this really good idea of doing 
me and my celebrity crush. So I chose Tom Holland and I went through and edited a bunch of pictures of just me and put Tom Holland in them. So if you want to see those, I'm going to put them in now. <laughs> So at the end, when you see the final product, there are actually pictures of me and Tom Holland and not my friend. But this will be given to one of my friends after I'm done with the video. <laughs> so the first step to this process is to take your box and paint it whatever colors slash colors you want. And for me, I'm going to do two colors. I think I'm going to do most of it blue and then the little square pink. And I was thinking of doing a little bit of an accent and paint the inside square pink as well. So... That's my plan. <laughs> The box is fully painted now. I really like it. Okay, so here's our box. This is the lid side of the inside. And it has walls, which we are going to use to our advantage to put the string inside of there. Um, this is where the pictures are going to go, which I will, y'all will understand a little bit more once this is finished, but just trust me. What we're gonna do is take our string. I don't think y'all have seen a good close up of this, but this is the string I'm gonna be using. Um, you can use a more like bedazzled ribbon or string, but I want to go with this plain one. And I'm just going to measure and cut it to the length that I want it here. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick little voiceover because my sister was literally dying in this clip. But um, basically the next step is just take your clothespins and arrange them however you want on your string. I chose to do seven clothespins because that's just what I thought looked the best. But you can do as many or as little as you want. So that's pretty much it for the inside of the uh, top lid, I guess. The last step would just be to put stickers and like, uh, gems and everything so that it looks really cute and full so that might be what I do later as for the bottom I'm thinking I'm just gonna put a few of my best friends snacks or favorite snacks in it and like candy and stuff just as like a little gift and then put some things that remind me of her in there I think that'd be really cute now we're just gonna work on the top so for the top I was thinking about doing a picture that fits pretty much perfectly in the dimensions of this square um, I'm just gonna print mine out but if you want to you can definitely order it from like Walgreens or something which is pretty inexpensive Okay, so to finish it off, I'm going to write a little phrase here, and then I'm going to just bedazzle it and make it really pretty inside and outside. These need to be set up better, but yeah, I think it's almost done and I'm really, really excited. Okay, I think I'm done with the box.
the final product and I think it turned out really really cute. I love it so much and if you want to do this at home you totally should because one it's really inexpensive and two it doesn't take that long. Uh, I think I did this in a matter of like four hours. That sounds like a lot but I did take breaks and eat dinner and all of that in between. So it did not take that much time and it turned out really really cute. I love the inside so much. Me and Tom Holland are super cute. <laughs> and then I think it's a cool idea too because in the box you can put anything that your best friend likes. I chose some candy. I think later on I'm going to put in some notes and just other things that she will enjoy. But you can decorate this however you want and you can customize it to your liking. But I really like this idea and I think that y'all should make one of these too. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you want to see more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. Bye. So that's pretty much. So that's pretty much it for. So that's. Pretty Toy Sparkles. Very subscriber. She's very special. <laughs> Let's go subscribe to his channel. I'll have it linked in the description box. <laughs> make, make sure you subscribe. Comments, only good ones. Peace. Peace. So you can um, get these. You can.